Hello, hello everybody. This is me, Gibbon, and in this video we are going to talk again for my favorite self-healing method out there, Pyrogen. We are doing those kind of shows every week, two, three or four videos a week. So if you want to know more about Pyrogen, subscribe for my channel hit the bell and you understand a lots of lots of things the good thing is that we are just in the beginning every week we are making like one super basic video like this i'll talk about basic stuff about pyrogen the basics because they are super important and every week we are uploading making live videos like this about the most uh, about the more like in details in um more advanced way so make sure you subscribe for my channel and hit the like to support this channel also if you want to buy slappers like this if you practice in your apartment like me and you don't want to be too noisy you can buy a slapper it's way way quieter like listen with hand and with swapper it is like this. The noise is maybe three times uh, less than three times. Yeah, three, uh, three times less noisy. Uh, I don't. <laughs> sorry for my. English. So, in this video, I'm going to talk what is lagin. Oh, actually, did I say that if you want to buy a slappers like this after the video, I'm going to put a link to my website where you can buy those kind of slappers. They are super cheap. Don't worry about it. You can also buy the book Self Healing with Pythagorean in uh, from my uh, website also. So, moving on to Lagin. What is Lagin and why I am sitting on this weird bench with this horizontal plank? <laughs> this is a um, so-called Lagin bench and it's made especially for practice of one of the Wajin postures. What is um, basically Wajin? La means stretching and Jin means tendons, means ligaments. So it is basically stretching of the ligaments. And the main purpose of Wajin is actually uh, something like a bone setting. When you practice Wajin, there are seven main Lajin postures. You are staying in these positions and uh, they are in so uh, good proportions that the importance is you to stay as much as you can in those positions. And doing, by doing this, uh, you prolong your tendons in the places that they are shortened. So by this, you are uh, making more space for the blood and chi to move and like this you are restoring your health and <clears throat> there is specific terminology for this disease in China it is like uh, it is called Jinso and Jinso is uh, not like uh, the name of disease that we usually hear like diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, insomnia and stuff. This is like complex name of many, 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 many um, that can, uh, complex name of like symptom of, um, of our of our ligaments, our musculoskeletal system. So Jinso means shortening the ligaments and uh, you can uh, and how you can know if you have ginso so and why it's important to to get rid of your ginso so ginso are making us sick because if your ligaments are short and hard it is also shortening and hardening the tendons so if they are short and they are hard, the chi and the blood, they move slowly, they have blockages, and this results as a disease. The disease could be 
wide variety of diseases, but it is caused because of our gene so. And uh, how you can test yourself if you have gene so or not? There are some tests that you can do. Um, actually, I think that more or less everybody knows if he has some problems with uh, his ligaments or not. But you can if. Uh, one of the things you can try is like spontaneous squatting, like this. You can ask yourself, is it easy for you to squat just like this? Super easy, without thinking, without thinking so much. Do you have some, do you have some things that are stopping you of doing this? So, like this. And also, it must be on the heels like this. If you have problem of squatting like this, and you have pain, uh, for example, you are thinking too much before doing it, or you are totally unable to do this, you have gene so. Another thing that you can try, sorry for, um, for this, uh, that I'm moving the camera, but it's need to be, uh, you, it's easy for you to see. Another thing that you can try is like this to, when you work something and you need to grab something that is higher, when you stretch your arms like this, for example, to grab something, do you think of it like, do you, do you like, it's hard for you to, to weigh your hand. Remember when you were a kid and you have so soft tendons, soft body, warm body, lots of young chip, you had no problems. But, but right now, if you have, feel some kind of resistance when you are doing this, you have gene so. And another way of uh, testing yourself is, is it easy for you to make those kinds of rotations? Do you feel some like of uh, something like uh, resistance again in the body, some kind of pain? Uh, if, if you like doing it like this, instead of doing it like this, uh, using the whole spine, most probably you have gene so. And uh, another uh, way of testing, um, it's like for, uh, like if you try this forward, just bending like this. If you, if you can like, for example, grab something from the floor, if, if you don't think about it, you're doing it just spontaneously, you're okay. But if you think too much, if you have pain somewhere in the body, uh, most probably uh, you have your gene so. Also, um, there is another way, another way to test yourself. Uh, it is like, uh, re remember when you were a kid again and you are climbing the stairs and you got two stairs in one step? If this is hard for you to do it now, if you, if you feel like super heavy for your body or you are totally unable to do it, you have gene so. <laughs> and, and also with, when you walk, if you can walk with big steps super easily, for example, when you are in a hurry, if you, uh, instead of just making fast, simple, uh, small steps, uh, but you are doing big steps, you're okay. But if you do like, if you're in a hurry and you just uh, make fast, uh, fast but short steps, you will probably uh, have gene so. And uh, one more, one more way of doing it is this kind of squatting. So if this thing is super hard for you to spread your legs maximum and try to sit like this, if you cannot do it, if it's super hard for you, you probably have uh, you probably have gene so. And if you have pain somewhere, for example, the knees, the hips, you have gene so. So we already tested ourselves, and we know if we have it or we <laughs> if we don't have it. Um, so uh, to be honest. Almost everybody had genes, so only the kids and uh, maybe some kind of young yogis and stuff. But 
most of the people they have gym so that's why it is great for everybody to practice Ola gym and um, one more thing is that uh, so we said what is gym so how we can test ourselves but we didn't say we didn't say, uh, say how uh, how what is the result of gym so what are the most common diseases that are caused by gym so all the things we are talking about are compared to Chinese traditional Chinese medicine so the the gym so results in those kind of conditions it very uh, often occurs like uh, some kind of urination problem some kind of uh, like uh, prostatic problem uh, all the pelvic all the disease in the pelvic area reproductive uh, problems like uh, irregular menstruation in the women the ladies like uh, polykystosis in their ovaries um, other things in the men often is kind of some kind of impotency lowering, lowering libido uh, premature ejaculation uh, or impotency this in on the gentleman um, very very often this could be a liver problem this could be also diabetes according to traditional chinese medicine and uh, of course heart problems uh, so these are like uh, conditions related to ginseng the, the the ginseng could result in those kinds of of conditions so what are the main postures main seven login exercises i'm going to briefly show you showing you every single one of them but then i'm going to make a videos um, like more in details about uh, every single one of those exercises let me just move those things again I remind you that if you want to support me, you can buy a slapper. If you already have a slapper, you can donate, make a small donation in the donation link. And we're starting with the main exercise. It is for overall health, and it is like the most complex stretching of all of the seven login stretchings. It is login in reclining position but again i'll just uh, made the, i'll just uh, make the stretchings briefly shortly and stay tuned uh, if you want to learn more about them <clears throat> for beginners and for advanced practitioners like this this is the legend in reclining position and then you must change the legs. Actually, because of this exercise, I healed almost every single one of my diseases. I started my Pidogen journey mainly with Login stretching, but this is Login on the bench. Uh, so the other Login is squatting Login. It is made like this. This is how it looks in more advanced way. But if you are not so flexible, you can do it even like this. The other login exercise is called wide login. And I'm just going to show you how to do it. It is done like this. You can use a yoga mat like this, place it like this because there will be your seat. You touch the wall with the seat, and then place your uh, legs and hands like this. There are variations of this exercise, 
like this it's it is like more sideways more sideways like this both the right side and the left side yes the other vagina stretching it is called neck lojin and for the neck lojin you can do it on the table you can do it with two chairs it's done like this you just lay on the bench put your shoulders a little bit out of the bench and then hang the the head and the arms naturally from the end of the bench the table the chairs and we have two more to go for the other it is called shoulder wajin it's great for the shoulders you're doing it like this at the door frame place your hands like this as high as you can the one leg is front other you place it a little back uh, and then stretch your arms like this and then switch the legs this is so-called shoulder virgin uh, actually with this virgin i have the most uh, most pain because i used to have a lot of pain in every other virgin but i practiced a lot for example virgin on the bench uh, squatting wajin, the neck wajin, but like this is uh, one of the wajin stretchings that I feel lots of pain and I will, um, I need to do a more effort, I need to put more effort, I need to, I need to do it more. Actually, I'm a great dancer, I dance a lot and I use my shoulders a lot, so I have lots of um, shoulder problems. They are very good. Um, if I compare it four years ago when I started Pida Wajin, right now they are <laughs> like never before, but I can feel when I, when I place my hands like this, I can feel that I still have some problems. And the last Wajin, it's so-called standing Wajin, Wajin on the board, and I'll show you how I'm doing it. I actually don't, do not have original board, but I use this this is my cajon. This is... So this is just for uh, playing little drums. <laughs> but I'm using it for stretching also. I'm just putting it like this in some kind of angle. And then I'm stepping on the coin like this but actually i do it with uh, without socks because uh, it's kind of sleepy so i this is the stretching this is a great stretching for the calves for the ankles like this so these are the legend stretching boys and girls I hope uh, you enjoyed that episode and uh, I want to remind you to subscribe for my channel, like the video and uh, I don't know what else. If you have questions, if you have questions, this is really important. Please ask me, please ask me if you have some kind of conditions and you are wondering what I'm thinking about um, that what kind of practice, uh, what kind of pyrogen practice could be helpful? Helpful. You can ask me also. And um, yeah, if you, if you want to learn something about this uh, amazing uh, way of self healing, this amazing practice, also I will appreciate your questions a lot.
So thank you for being with me. Uh, wish you all good and see you everybody in the next video.